Do drugs also change the way we think and decide? Yes, the effect of drug is much broader than adaptation at receptor levels. Continued drug use induces neuroplasticity. The wiring of the brain changes. We see that continued drug use increases impulsivity, increases compulsive behavior and reduces the capacity to plan. This unfortunately decreases the chance that you will make rational decisions around drug use and may curb your use. Some drugs even change the way we see the world. For example, long-term stimulant users may judge a neutral situation as threatening or as stressful. These changes affect how we feel and how likely we are to use drugs to manage this. So some of the adaptations are very specific to the drugs and others are more general and linked to a loss of control. It takes time to establish these adaptations and it will take time to reverse them when someone stops using. Some changes may go back to normal quite quickly, while others can take years to change back. So what happens if you stop using? When somebody stops using, the brain adaptations that have developed after repeated drug and alcohol use will show. How? They will show as withdrawal symptoms. Each drug has a specific mix of withdrawal symptoms based on the initial drug effect. We will study withdrawal symptoms in detail in another video. But it's important to understand feeling withdrawal symptoms are a major reason to relapse. Do we know why people use compulsively? One of the big markers for addiction is not the amount of drug use, but the loss of control. Drug taking continues after problems arise, after repeated attempts to reduce or stop. Drug seeking becomes compulsive. Extensive research is elucidating the biology behind this and scientists and clinicians are in a lively debate about the different theories. I will highlight two important systems that seem to influence the development of addiction. Firstly, drugs are reinforcements. They make you feel good. You are likely to repeat the behavior. The dopamine system plays an important role in this reinforcement. And secondly, when adaptations in the body occur, our experiences changes. Drug using is no longer about feeling good, but about avoiding negative feelings and withdrawal. The stress axis, and especially the corticotrophin-releasing hormone, is thought to be important in this.